Hey guys, what's going on? This is Wes back with another video of Java Essential Training Series. So in the last video, we discussed how to create file and how to write in the file. So this video is going to be about how to read from text files. So to start working in our video, I need to import some packages. So java.io, I need buffer reader, import java.io, I need file reader, and I will need another to get rid of that exception. So java.io.io exceptions. All right, so we have three classes in our program now. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you two ways to read files. So first way will be about buffer reader and then we will use some methods to read files from, um, from the text files, okay? So now let's go and start writing our code. So I'll use that buffer reader class and I'll name it br is equal to null okay and then in the next line I'll use that br let's write here fix up the tabulation is equal to new buffer reader create an instance of that buffer reader and then click new and use the file reader and then here type the path or type the file name okay so that if the file name exists on the package right if it exists here okay in this folder then it should be fine just type the file name but let me just get rid of this file name we'll create that so I'll show you how to uh, read files by giving the path as well so let's go back to our oops let's go back to the package here all right so here I will type let's say my file okay dot txt all right so it has to be in a double quotation so just let me just fix that okay and then add a semicolon so there is an error here because that's kind of exception that file not found so let's create a file so I'm gonna right click here new and then file and here type my file.txt and then here let's say I'll type hello YouTube in this tutorial I will teach you guys how to read from text file all right okay so now let's go back here let me save that file first all right so here now we need to define the path of the file now so if you right click here and then click on file path it should use that path here right so let's this is the path we have now okay so I'm just going to copy this all right and then I'm going to paste it here and it's a bit long part so all right so now it should fix that error for us okay as you can see that uh, the file explorer we had was single backslash all right but Java will have a problem reading single backslash so whenever you want to uh, define a part in Java you need to use a double backslash okay so, all right so that's what the IntelliJ idea did for us so if you want to do it like uh, by manually so you could do show in Explorer and then copy that file path and then you could add backslashes all right so it's a bit long path but don't worry we'll fix that all right so next we create another string variable so I'll type string and I will name it let's say line okay maybe read line okay oops all right so we have that string variable now here now we need to use a while loop okay so I'll use while and then here I will add another parenthesis and I will say read read line is equal to and I'll use that br object now which is reading a file for us dot read line which is a method which reads stuff for us so I think it's a bit uh, getting a bit confusing so why not we change our line okay for make it easy for you guys so all right it should be fine now so br read line and then here I will get out from this while loop and here I will say if there's nothing in the file then what it should do it should read the file to us so I'll say our line all right so we have that loop here which basically 
check r line is equal to br read line which is this uh, object and then we're saying that if it's not e null then read line for us okay so there's an exception error here we'll fix that in a second okay so now we need to close the file as well whenever you open a file you should close the file as well so it's very simple you could use uh, let's say br dot close okay it should fix that there's an error here there should be an exception method okay so we're gonna use the try and catch block to fix these errors so let's uh, go up here I would say try okay and let's get rid of this here and let's come down here after the while loop and uh, add another code block here which will fix that while loop and then here catch next line actually so catch here we'll say io exception e okay and then e dot all right to throw away the stuff okay so now we fixed our uh, try and catch block the all errors have gone away so now I think it's time for us to run the programs and after the while loop we can just simply close that so if we try br dot close all right it's working fine guys so hello YouTube in this tutorial I'll teach you how to read text from the file this was a common way to read text from a file but remember there's a lot of ways that you can read text from the file there's another way you could use the scanner class to read file as well in the course I've been teaching you how to use scanner class to check input from the keyboard but you can use the scanner class to read text from the file as well all you have to do is use that file reader with that scanner class same as we use the buffer reader so there's so many ways but uh, that was a quick tutorial about how to read a file in Java so thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments below or you can follow me on Twitter and ask the question directly there. Thanks for watching again guys and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.